Hi friends, if you like painted furniture, vintage and vintage style home decor, then I'm gonna take you on a little tour of the cutest little shop today that I always buy my Fusion Mineral paint and Miss Mustard Seed milk paint. She also carries Jolie, but she also has on the other side of her little store, all the cottage finds she she does have vintage and she has some new and she does some shipping so i'm going to see what all she will ship but we're going to get a lot of styling ideas and there are some painted and then just vintage pieces in there that i think you'll like looking at and get some ideas
So wasn't that a great shop? I just love it when I have to make a paint run because I could spend quite a bit of time in there and I told her I'd like to just sit down and have tea in there. It's so cute. What I ended up getting from there and I'm really thinking about some other things. Um, I wish I had gotten, that happens to me. I'll watch my video and I'm like, why didn't I get one of those cute little aprons for gardening? And why didn't I grab some of those blue and white cups and things? So needless to say, it's not that far from my house. So I'm sure I'll be back soon. And what I did end up getting is some of the milk paint, Miss Mustard Seed milk paint, which I really like to use if I want a chippy white look. And you can see that in my lamp video where I made those chippy white. And this one is the Farmhouse White. They have several different whites. Some of them are a little cooler. Some of them are a little bit warmer. This Farmhouse White is kind of in between. It's warm, it's not a bright white, but it's warm without being yellow. And that's kind of what I wanted. So that was what I got at Lost and Found Decor. And I buy all my fusion mineral paint there too, which I'm definitely a fan of that. Okay, so it's been raining for days here and it wasn't great for video, but I wanted to film this part about baskets because I feel like baskets are something that anyone can find um, in their local thrift store, at garage sales and at estate sales or wherever, even if you're shopping the dollar store or somewhere like Home Goods that has a little bit of a discount on home decor, you can find some gorgeous baskets. So the reason I really like them, I think, is because they're just natural materials. They give texture and that organic feel without being super expensive. You know, your other materials like marble and linen and all your gorgeous solid wood pieces can get pricey, but they are what brings that gorgeous upscale feel to a house. So baskets are a way to get that natural feeling brought into the house without spending a fortune. And needless to say, I'm sure I have way too many baskets, but I use them in pretty much every room in the house. So I'm gonna show you some that if you've seen some of my other thrift hauls, you may have seen a few of these, but there's definitely some new ones that I just got at garage sales and estate sales and even thrift stores that I've recently been to. And so I'm gonna show you a little haul and just a little bit of styling. So one of the first ones that I found at an estate sale was this great piece and it came with a lid. I love to find baskets that have a lid because then it's closed storage, right? So you can use it in the bathroom, you can use it in the kitchen to hide all those things that aren't as decorative in the pantry. Um, I love things with a closed top. This would be so cute for even like a jewelry box. Or if you have a small amount of spices or something, we have <laughs> way more than would fit in here. But just really, really cute. And I'm trying to think what I paid for this. Oh, I bought this and it had a bunch of seashells, which I'm going to show you in my estate sale haul. And I paid 12 for all of them, but it was some really large seashells also. So let's say half of that, maybe I paid six. Next one I had in my French market haul, estate sale, but I just really love the finish and the patina on this one and that it's got leather hinges. And I'm not sure how I'm going to use this or style it yet, but I think anything would be beautiful in here. Magazines, when I think about it, <laughs> I often I get ideas when I'm just trying to think of ideas for you guys. And I really think this would be a great magazine basket because they're, I use baskets for magazines, but they're not always real decorative when they're just kind of piled in there. But in here, they would be hidden and gorgeous and look all farmhouse and cottagey and European farmhouse. So there's that one. And I think I paid seven on that one. Um, a lot of times I'll find baskets way cheaper as you'll see, but for the nicer or larger ones or ones with lids, I sometimes will pay a little bit more because they can be very, very pricey. If you look at the really nice wall baskets or the handmade ones 
or the larger ones that have a bit of patina, they can get way up into 75, 85 and up, you know. And you know, you've seen them, you've looked at all the same websites and stores that I have. Next is just this cute little farmhouse basket that I had bought at the thrift store for $3. And I just think this is a great piece for any kind of florals or again, storage. It's nice and deep and I would use this all over the house. I, and it's just decorative and it really would look cute. People put up those cute little peg racks and hooks. And I do that some, but they tend to get coats and stuff thrown on them. But if you wanted them decorated cute, this would be a, a real cute hanging basket off of a hook. Now I found the best garage sale and I'm gonna be showing you in another haul what I found at this garage sale, she was, we were similar in age, her and her daughter were having the sale. They had quite a few things out there and she had so much vintage and it killed me. She said, why weren't you here earlier this morning? My husband was just throwing all my vintage stuff out here and it's, and it got so much of it sold. So she said she might have another one this coming weekend. So I may have to check that out. It's not too far from my house, but she had this basket and she said it was from Tahiti. She had another one, but it had some painting on it and some little shells and it, it wasn't really my taste, but this one I thought was just gorgeous. This would be another one that would be really pretty hanging on a peg or a hook and you definitely could store things in it just sitting up there. And this I paid $3 for and it's sturdy, it's gorgeous, and it's unusual. So I just love that one. You should see the pile of baskets I have down here. I went and rounded some up that were just on the loose, and this isn't even all of them at my house. A lot of them are already put into, uh, into service, if you know what I mean. Other ones that I found at that garage sale, and I paid $2 a piece for these. I already have one that looks like this, I don't know where they're from, but they're really sturdy. And I have one that I had bought at just, you know, a thrift store or garage sale. And I was using it for storage in the, in my closet, in my bedroom. We still, we, you know, we have an older home from 1980 and the closets are the one shelf and the, the pole for hanging your clothes. It's not a great system. So I was using baskets so it would look cute for off-season clothes or different things. So now I've got three that will fit on a shelf and it'll look so organized and intentional, <laughs> which will be amazing and make me happy. So that's what it's all about, right? This is, you could consider this a basket or a tray, but you may have seen this in a previous thrift haul also, but it's got that little bit of brass around the top mixed with the sort of rattan. And I love wicker trays as much as I like baskets because they just hold so many things, even little hand towels rolled up in this or um, some vases with flowers in them. It's just a way to corral things together and make them look, like I said before, organized and intentional. And I meant to do that, even though maybe you're just rushing through and trying to pick up stuff and get organized. If you just put pile it all in a tray it will not drive you as crazy in my experience anyway maybe it will but <laughs> that's what that's one of my strategies i'll show you some of these baskets that i found that have color on them and this was a really pretty one i thought it's sort of a purpley and a pink and nice colors that i could easily work with this would be so pretty for a plant just about all my plants, actually any of my plants that are in really large baskets are thrifted baskets, thrift store, or like I said, garage sale, rummage sale. I'm gonna show you some that I got at a church rummage sale that I've had for years and I love them. But this would be just great, again, for towels, for organizing craft supplies. Hey, $2 on that one, and that was an estate sale. And then these, this was the first day of an estate sale, so these were, a little bit more, but they were so special. I had seen them in the pictures on the estate sale website that I did pay more for them because I know how much these wall baskets or these nicer weaved baskets with the patterns in them 
I know how much they go for. They start at at least $30 from what I've seen. And this one I paid nine. So there's that. Very nicely done. And that would be beautiful on a wall or of course on a shelf would be gorgeous. Just anywhere that that detail is showing on there is just going to, again, you know I'm all about the texture and the natural elements being brought in. A plant in this would be phenomenal. And another one that was at that same estate sale, I absolutely couldn't resist this one. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use this for yet. I think it may, would make a beautiful wall basket, but again, I paid nine on that one. But I would have to come up with some kind of way to be able to hang this. So I'm kind of thinking what I could do without, I don't wanna you know, do any damage on it. So I'm trying to figure out what I would do on that. But it's just so pretty and the textures, and of course the colors are perfect for me. And this would be cute just even on a coffee table. I don't know that you would even have to put anything in it, but even just some seashells or moss balls or really pretty pebbles or crystals. I mean, just anything you wanna sort of highlight, some little small books. This would be just so decorative and so pretty for not a whole lot of money. And the last one I found that was a wall basket that had some color. Again, beautiful green on there and sort of a taupe. And this one was a dollar. So I thought all of these work together. It's funny how I, a lot of times we'll find things in groups on the weekend and I'm going to different places. I'm going to a garage sale and I'm going to a, um, an estate sale. I'm running into a thrift store maybe. And I don't know if it happens that I just spotted that one. So I happen to see the other ones or they just happen to be there at the same time. I'm not sure how that works, but it seems to be happening pretty regularly. Let me know if that happens to you. Okay, now this one, I just love the size and I love the detail and that it's two different, it's sort of a herringbone weave in here. And on the outside, it's just straight. It's got the wider piece around it here. I paid $3 for this at a thrift store. Um, it was actually one of those disabled American vet um, red rack stores up in Joplin. My niece and I went up there another day after I even did that video with you. We did a girl's day out and I'm gonna really try, we're gonna start doing that regularly. I'm gonna really try to make sure I video that because we had so much fun going thrifting and going to little shops and stuff. Um, but this was sitting there and it was full of sunglasses and it was pretty dirty in the bottom. It had like a dirt ring. And that's what I wanted to talk about is the cleaning of baskets because I've been asked that several times. And I literally just use soap and water and a scrub, a soft scrub brush on them. I have a scrub brush that specifically for that. Now there are, there are baskets that are made out of paper and you just want to watch that. They put them outside to dry when it's not raining continually like it, like it has been here. This one is a huge wall basket that I found at a garage sale for $3. And it's got, you can see it's got metal handles on it. it does have the wicker in here. And these are almost, these are, I feel like these are some sort of leaf because they're doubled over. See if you can see that. They're like put over probably, it looks like a metal frame, but they're folded over and then tied off with an actual, some sort of plant material kind of lashing. Really cool, but it's already got a wall hanger on the back. Honestly, it's a little dark for me. I may whitewash it if I use it in my own house. But wouldn't this be pretty? I know a lot of newer homes have real high ceilings in the bedrooms. Mine doesn't, but a lot of times there's that space above the bed. What are you gonna do with that? But this would be really pretty if you whitewashed it or put it in your colors and mix it with some of these other wall baskets. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? So artwork, texture, without a lot of money at all, you guys. Of course, it goes without saying any of the uh, wicker laundry baskets. I know I've talked about these before, 
but I really love these. I think they come in handy for so many things besides laundry, but laundry as well. If they're in good shape, I have definitely used them for my laundry. Great for organizing in a bedroom. At the end of the bed, you could put blankets in them or extra throw pillows. Gosh, it's getting dark out again, you guys. I hope you can see me. I hope it's not too dark here. I didn't bring in my extra lighting. My overhead lighting is usually enough in here, but gosh, it's it's feeling dark in here. Okay, and also I wanted to show you these um, sets of baskets that I got. This was one that I got at a church rummage sale that was just amazing on the prices. And I've had it for a while. I've used it all over the house. I used it, especially in the bathroom for organizing. It was wonderful. So they're black on the inside and then sort of the wicker, almost a walnut finish on the outside. And I think they're just beautiful. There's three different sizes. And so there's a smaller one, the bigger one, and then this big square one. Isn't that pretty? Pretty sure it's been a little while since I bought them over a year, but I'm pretty sure I paid $2 for all of them. And I really think that I'm going to do a wall basket configuration here pretty soon. Just trying to figure out where I want it. But these would definitely, I'm thinking, be in the mix because they're just so pretty. And of course, the neutrals and the touch of black, I just love. So that was one set. This other set that I got was off Facebook Marketplace. So don't forget about Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist because I paid $12 for this set. It still had tags on it. And I think I looked it up and it was a very expensive set. And you know how much these wall baskets go for. So it's got this size, really pretty whitewash on it with sort of a rope handle. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, on a shelf or put up on a wall, which I have done before, really pretty with this, but I'm, and look, two other sizes. There's a bigger one, and then the biggest one is quite large. So I'm just really trying to figure out if I wanna mix those these black and walnut ones with these and kind of get a really neat wall basket or basket wall is probably what I should be saying. Sometimes just putting some extra texture in, especially if you're missing some architectural detail. I don't know if you can hear it out there. It's pouring. I can see out my front window. Our whole driveway is flooded and we're used to kind of rainy springs around here, but this has been a little crazy. It is really pretty glowing green out there. So that's a good thing. Maybe we'll have a really green and nice summer. Anyway, I was saying before I was distracted by the crazy amounts of rain is that sometimes I can't find artwork. And what's really bothering me about say the room or the wall is that it's just a slab of drywall. And in this house that was built in 1980, we've really had to, it had a few architectural details like a couple of beams and some high, you know, a high ceiling in the living room and stuff, but no trim work. I guess this was considered a modern thing in the eighties, but there's no trim, you know, around the windows. There's a window sill and it's just slabs of drywall everywhere you go. And I feel like you want to put some architectural detail in maybe what's bugging you more than that there's not artwork or that it's not decorated. So a lot of times if I'll put more just textural things like baskets or uh, you know, macrame weaving, these are all sort of throwback things, but they add that interest, that sort of architectural detail would take the place of, you know, if you don't have the, the gorgeous moldings or the shiplap or the beadboard or all the things that you're wanting maybe, um, these can stand in for a little while and at least make you a little more happy with it and make you feel like you've got the texture that maybe that you're looking for instead of actually artwork or color. Anyway, just my two cents and what I found is true with me. I also have a really big basket that I found at the thrift store. It's got a lid and I'm going to use this one as a trash can. I've been looking for something that because our trash is out 
our trash can is out. We don't have it in a cabinet. We don't have room for that in this vintage kitchen, but I don't like to look at a trash can. So now I'm trying to find something in, like a plastic or metal insert that's gonna go inside there to make it so we can put a trash bag and stuff. But this one, I think I did pay $23 for, which is probably the most I've paid for a thrifted basket but it is really well made. I believe it's willow and it, the lid is nice and I think it'll last for a really, really long time and I couldn't get anywhere near that for this size basket with the lid brand new. So and this one has like beautiful patina on it too. I love it. That's some of my baskets and I hope you enjoyed this little basket haul and got some ideas for how to use thrift store baskets or thrifted baskets or unexpected baskets in your home. And I hope that when you're out shopping, thrift shopping or whatever, that you'll look for some great baskets because they bring so much texture and beauty into your house, but also they're so practical. So until next time, be sure and subscribe and like and share these videos as our channel grows. And we have so much fun, you guys. And I love all your comments. I read them all. Sometimes I get busy and I can't respond to every single one, but I read absolutely all of them. I want to give you content that is inspiring and helps give you ideas so that you can just love the house that you're in. And my little saying is style yourself happy. And that's what I want you to do. So until next time, friends, I'm Tanya from Free Range Cottage. And thank you so much for your time and for watching today. I really appreciate you.